Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your own kick drums from scratch. And we are gonna use only Serum and the stock plugins to process our kick drum. The kick drum I'm gonna make is gonna be a really fat, distorted, techno style kick drum. Like the Space 92, like Umek, like Medix. The outcome is gonna similar to their kick drums. And this is not gonna be the layering video. This is gonna be a making the sound itself from scratch video. So if you understand the logic of these techniques, you can make your own kick drums, your signature sounds much more easier. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. Okay guys, we will just start our sound design by adding the kick drum and maybe I can make the serum a little bit bigger so you can see it much more easier. And if we just put this LFO to, to here, we can also monitor the waveforms. And let's go. The first thing we are gonna make is obviously paste some MIDI here and it's gonna be like that. So just a saw wave, nothing special on it. And in here, the key you are putting is gonna determine the key of the kick. So in this case, we are making a kick drum in F note. So first thing, we got to choose the waveform, the wavetable that we are gonna use. And for this, I'm gonna use the analog bass drum sine wave. So this is really proper sine wave, a wavetable for making kick drums, but you can experiment with the others as well. All of the analogs, all of the sine waves in the analog section is gonna give you a really cool kick drum vibe. But I like to stick with this one since it's the most common, common waveform that we use on this kind of kick sounds. So I'm gonna just lower the volume of it. And now if I play, we won't hear anything. Now I'm gonna go to the first LFO and just connect this LFO by dragging, dropping it to the level of first oscillator. And the sound is gonna just follow the shape in the LFO one. Now let's make some kick shape. If you hold Alt, it's gonna snap to the grid. So I'm gonna make like that. I will have just a little bit attack because we will fill this little gap with the click itself. And now I'm gonna make something like that, like a curve like that. It's gonna be fade out. Like we don't need to make it more than half bar. So something like that would be enough. But as you see, like every time kick is triggering by the MIDI, the waveform in the LFO tool is changing just because of the random in here. So let's deactivate the random knob, which makes the kick drum always same. And it's gonna start always the same positions of the wave table in here. And the next thing, we will go to the second telephone. Now we got to sub the base of the kick drum, but we definitely need a punch. And the punch of the kick drum is created by a very fast pitch envelope. It's gonna make the sine wave, the first wave, starting from an upper pitch and goes to the lower pitch so fast and it's creating the punch effect of the kick drum. And to achieve that, we will just make the LFO, the second LFO like that, very short envelope, very short curve. And we will just direct drop this to the chorus pitch in here. And now it's like two ways. If we Alt Shift click, it's gonna be one directional. And now let's hear how it sounds. With this magnet, this icon, you can just determine how high it should start. Again, we will just do something with our taste and you can always go back and tweak this stuff to make your kick, you know, fit better to your track. We are pretty much done for now, pretty much done with the first sound. And now I'm gonna just activate the noise in here. So we will just go any of the noises. I'm gonna choose bright white and let's go to second envelope now and just create so, so short, so little envelope like that. And let's connect this the level of the noise. Now we got the click, we got the noise, but we definitely need a texture. And now we got to activate the oscillator B. And this time you can go to the digital ones, like all of them is gonna give you a different vibe. Let's, let's just test them. I'm gonna go to the third envelope now and just lower some settings, like make it 
kind of like the noise. And this time we will connect this to the level of oscillator B. Maybe we can put it one octave higher. As I said, this texture layer is all about experiment. Just try more wave ta tables and find the one fitting to your track best. Let's make the random zero also. And again, like we can connect the third envelope also to the chorus pitch of the second sound. Alt shift click to make it one directional. We are just making the same stuff that we made to those letter A. Like you can do so much stuff with this. And if you like, you can go maybe these other wave tables like from analog. Again, you can just use any of them for the texture. So this is my favorite for the texture layer. I'm using this one to my own kick drums. And now we can just make it a little bit interesting by just going to the third envelope. Like as you see, there are unlimited possibilities and you can do something like that let's create some curve like that and maybe we can connect this to the wavetable position so we can just change the wavetable position in time and get more character for kick drum maybe same you can drag drop to second one as well Okay, I'm satisfied with it. Maybe I can activate the filter to just cut a little bit high frequencies, but not on the B or the noise. Just gonna apply this to the first, you know, bass sound that we have. Like giving a little bit drive makes the punch much more uh, strong. And now we can go to the FX. We are done with the oscillators. Now I'm gonna activate the distortion module. We can get tube distortion, like we can get whatever we like. Even we can, for example, connect, let's say this envelope to the drive. And now it's gonna just also automate the drive to get more character. And let's go choose maybe different distortion mode. Sounds really decent. And maybe one more filter. Just to tame the top end, but again, like if you like more clicky kick drum, you can just skip this filter as well. And yeah, now we are pretty much done with the serum. Let's go to the mixer, because in here I got really cool plugin for you. So the first plugin for processing our kick drum is gonna be the disperser. I find this plugin in Reddit, and this is just a patcher patch with made by just free plugins. It's so light plugin. This plugin doing something like that. It's just shifting the frequencies, like a multiband frequency shifter or something like that. If you exactly know what the disperser plugin does, please let me know in the comments because I know how to use it, but I don't know how this stuff works. So the way I'm using it, as you see, there's three modules in here. We will not gonna use the second and third module. We only need the first one. This dispersion, like the strength, like how much effect do you like? And this frequency mode, you can think like that in which frequency you want this effect to be applied. And now we will just go very, very low frequencies and it's gonna dramatically change the character and also the punch of the kick drum. Let's show you in action. And to deactivate the second and third, we gotta make the frequencies to the very top. If you do that, they are gonna like disable, not gonna work. And now only the first module is working. Now we are gonna do something like that.
just finding some sweet spot where I just like the sound of the kick. And if I deactivate it, it's good, but very flat. But if I activate this effect, it instantly makes the kick, you know, much more characteristic, much more interesting. We will probably go back and fix this stuff, but this is a nice starting point. After this effect, after this disperser, we will just use some overdrive. Giving saturation or overdrive always make it more tight in terms of its dynamic range and it's just making the kit kick much more shaped. And the next thing, we will just apply a little bit of um, low mid reduction to make the kick more relaxed, I don't know, more tight and less boxy. So let's find the 300 hertz area and like the low mids as you know always get tend to get muddy in the mix so we will just find some resonating frequencies on low mids and just dip it a little bit And maybe I can tame just a little bit upper mids. And after that, it's time to apply a little bit of coloring of the kick. Now it's time to just explore and maybe even you can just do this step if you have a track already ready. Just put the kick on the track and then color it according to your track. I'm just doing it so subtle changes. And lastly, I'm gonna go apply some clipping. making the kick drum much more fat. And now we're pretty much done with the kick. It's usable, it's ready to use, but I'd like to do something like that. Just like to clone this disperser patch and mute the first one so we don't mess with the settings that we made. And now with the processing I have, with the processing we just made, I like to just change the first disperser. Maybe if I can get a better sounding kick drum. This is how I achieve my kick drums. Now let's take a look. I kind of like this one. Let's compare. And the punch was getting better when I just changed the frequency a little bit. And again, like if you don't satisfy it, you can just always go back to serum. Let's clone the serum so we don't mess it again. And you know, if you like, you can do something like that. The second LFO was applied to our punch of the kick. So you can always change the punch. Like after you have all the processing finished, you can go back and fine tune the kick until it's perfect. I just like this version so much. So yeah, let's don't make it too long video. Let's consolidate this sound. And as you see, we got our kick drum ready in here. 
I can tell you that it's really punchy already. And let's test it with some drums. So yeah guys, today I show you how to make your own kick drums from scratch and I use only Serum and the stock plugins to process the kick drum. I think it's best to explore this technique and come up with your own signature style. The possibilities are endless in this case. So I hope you can apply these tricks to your own productions as well. See you on the next video. Bye bye.